Welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. We're kicking off a new year, making our way through 2022, and today we're talking all things home safety. So here are three items that everyone should have to keep their home safe. Being able to protect your home from the threat of fire is important. Here are three critical pieces to help keep any home safe. We begin with the first alert smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. This unit, model PC1210, is battery powered. Now they also have other units that can be wired into your home's electrical system. The package boasts that the unit is a slim profile and also has no low battery chirp something that has been a source of irritation for many over the years. I'd like to thank our friends over at Westlake Ace for giving us a hand with identifying these items. I'll add links to each of them in the description below. We open the package for a closer look at the unit. On the front side is a test button. This will help to ensure the unit's working. On the back side is a slider switch which allows you to activate the battery inside the alarm. And you can also slide the switch to the opposite direction to deactivate it once it's time to replace it. The package also contains a set of screws including wall anchors. I chose instead to use drywall screws. They have a good grip and are more than strong enough to hold the alarm to the wall or to the ceiling. The unit also includes a mounting plate with pre-cut holes that will allow the fasteners of your choice. Next up, we move to the fire extinguishers. Inside the home, the kitchen is one of the most common places that fires happen. This first alert fire extinguisher is made for the kitchen. It works fighting flammable liquids like cooking oil. It also is effective against electrical fires. It's UL rated at 5-BC. The 5 represents the number of gallons of extinguisher this unit can disperse. An instruction guide on the inside gives you an idea of the basic operation of the unit and inside the box there's also a safety cap that also doubles as a mount. Once removed, you get a good look at somewhat of a sleek design of the nozzle. On the left side of the nozzle is a safety loop and also a pin. This will have to be removed before the extinguisher can be engaged. On top, a small green button offers a pressure test. The button should rebound immediately after being depressed. The green button is also visible when the cap is on, so if the green button does not immediately rebound, it may be time to replace the extinguisher. Beyond the kitchen, other problematic fires we see often happen in garages. Now this garage fire extinguisher is built to handle bigger fires. It has a commercial grade metal valve and it's also rechargeable. The unit carries a UL rating of 10 BC. It also is able to handle both those flammable liquids and electrical equipment. Other extinguishers carry ratings that include wood or paper and a variety of special chemical treatments that are available depending on your needs. For multi-level homes, it's recommended that you have a unit on each floor. Like the kitchen unit, the garage unit also comes with a mount that will allow it to be hung on a wall and inside the packaging was also a manual. This unit has a metal gauge which lets you know when it needs to be serviced. It also has a metal pull pin and tamper-proof safety seal. Along with the mount, the garage unit comes with a safety strap that allows you to secure it while it's mounted. All important safety features in houses with kids hoping to prevent any type of accidental activation. Well, we've got everything unboxed. These three items are very easy to install in your home and could very well save a life. One thing to keep in mind, depending on what part of the house you have it in, you'll want to check the map on the box and make sure the fire extinguisher that you're grabbing has the proper UL rating for the size of the space that you're looking forward to work in. All right, if you love these DIY videos and would love to know more, go ahead and click on like and smash that subscribe button. Until the next time, take care.